Oh my goodness. No one wants to hear me. You know, you know something mean G in Oakland. Okay, you guys can hear me. Awesome. Okay, you guys can hear me. So basically what happened was my the HD thing, like I don't want to I don't want to jinx it at the moment, but the my computer's pretty fucking old. And it's running old software, and I need to run like older software for it to actually work. And what happened was the game capture thing that I use, the which is just the regular Elgato software for anyone who gives a fuck, that comes with the HD. And I'm using the older HD one as well. I I almost need to upgrade that at some point to the um to, to the model two of it, but it up it it downloaded the update. Without without my approval of the game capture HD, and just for purposes, they're running something like the newest version is is like two nine or something like that. It might, I'm I'm even exaggerating. I just want to make 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 it known the one I was running on my computer is like ten versions ago to make it run smoothly. So I upgraded to the most new version, and the last couple times I streamed, it was a problem, and I kept getting disconnected. I don't know if it's gonna happen again right now. Perhaps it will, maybe it won't. I definitely don't think my wireless in my house is actually good at all, but... So, for whatever reason, it decided that my computer was powerful enough to stream the video game footage and not my voice. What's unfortunate about that is when you guys are talking and through all of that, I was talking the whole time. I had reactions to everything, to what was going on in the game, questions, and I'm like, yeah. It took me a little while to figure out you couldn't hear me, so... <laughs> so I'll shut up now. But I did want to say welcome. Yeah, I think, exactly. I think most people can relate to that. You, you run, like, you have your shitty computer. It's something, it's almost the subtitle of this section of this and my other channel. Uh, the other channel, Phil the Issues Guy. Which is more podcasting and shorter videos and some music stuff. That seems to be coming up over there as well. Not so much video games. Even though I'm thinking about maybe doing some streaming of some games. Select games over there as well too once I can get my setup going. But, uh, technical difficulties. And... If you have your little shitty setup, maybe it's a television that's shitty and you have a weird fucking hookup. It used to be like this back, back in the olden days when you'd have to have like some Jimmy rigged set with tin foil and stuff to make something work. And you add a new element to all of that somehow or you upgrade something. And even if you get a better something and then you try to fit that new better something into your shitty setup, it just creates so many problems. So right now I'm almost just babbling a little extra before I start playing just to make sure it doesn't suddenly disconnect on me. But... So I think most of you guys can fucking relate to that fucking bullshit. D dude, especially, like, it was when you came into the room. Uh, Kyote came in and gave me hearts, and I started talking to her because at the beginning I was just, uh, I was playing with myself, which is fine. I, how I feel about game streaming is I felt like playing this game, and most of the time I'm... With most games, I'm just like I'll play whatever, and, and I'm and I'm not not that I'm a coward, but it's just like okay, I'm not gonna stream, I'm gonna talk. It's you know it becomes more of an active experience where most of the time gaming, I don't have a mic of a camera on me right now, but most of the time with gaming for me, it's a bleh, you know like my brain just kind of zones out and I just zone in on what's going on. So sometimes the t but with Zelda, I pretty much streamed 99% of my entire playthrough of this game, maybe a little. A, mm, 
a little less than that, probably like 95%, because at the beginning, there was a couple of nights that I didn't, I chose not to, I chose not to stream and regretted it, but, <laughs> so, so, uh, so sometimes I come on even when no one's talking, so I was streaming, playing, and no, no one was responding, because no one was in here, so it didn't matter that they weren't listening to me talk, so Kiyote, Kiyote pops in, and I, and I said, hey, Kiyote, and started talking to her a little bit, and she didn't respond, but I assumed she was probably at work, and couldn't respond in a timely manner, and was listening to my silly goofiness on top of it, but then when you came in, I gave you a wonderful welcome, I said, oh, welcome to Dirty Issues, I'm Phil the Issues Guy, one of three people that stream on this channel, myself, Joe Dirty Locks and Taka. Joe does right now mainly Friday the 13th, the game. So if you want to check out that, he might even be streaming right now or was when I started that conversation. Taka does a bunch of different games and a bunch of different stuff. He has a Twitch channel as well. And he, he more comes over here sometimes and uploads videos of some of his Twitch streams and occasionally streams on this page as well. And I'm Phil the Issues Guy. I have another page. That's more podcasting, and this is the video game site. Blah, 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 blah. Well, I gave you a wonderful... I was like, oh, great to have you. You know, Zelda's awesome. You asked me where I was in the game, how far of this I unlocked. I answered that, too. I said, well, I did all the intro quests in the opening area where you had to beat stuff with a half a heart, and now I'm to this point where I'm having to go around and solve vague clues to give to learn parts of the song to proceed to the next step. And absolutely, my whole goal in this whole situation, the reason why I'm playing is that I'm inspired to get this amazing fucking motorcycle even if it sucks i want to roll around this area with a fucking motorcycle that's just one of the things that i didn't know i wanted in my life but ultimately i really fucking do want in my life this game knows what i want it feeds into me it is sunk it's switch like powers into different orifices of my body you don't want to know about the orifices that it stuck it got stuck stuck into got, i was gonna say stuck in but i don't think that's a word well for the purposes of this live stream it's a fucking word sorry no lotus you can calm down St i can stuck in in this fucking so and the, i'm never usually trying to make a point that's the problem i think <laughs> but my point is i'm not too far into it i'm just past that opening section now i'm at that the go find clues for the song which i'm a little not stuck, I'm just not paying as much attention as I should have in the introductory parts about what I'm trying to find. I need to follow a light, race a wa have sex with a waterfall, and uh, dance but with the devil by the pale moonlight. So something like that, and then proceed to the next step. I'm also coming back into this game to find Link, to get the Link's house quest and stuff. I didn't do a lot of the side quest stuff. Um, at the time this game ki came out, I was going through some... The personal stuff. So I so I wanted to play through it as quickly as possible. So I didn't really stop and take a time to do all the shrines or get all the side questy kind of things. So it's going to be fun. I'm going to try to play it more and, and eventually unlock everything. It's one of those games that I am inspired enough to kind of try to get all the content eventually. I don't think I'm done playing this game in any way, shape, or form. But welcome, guys. Yes. So am I doing the right thing here? Yeah, I have to figure it out. You're challenging the sacred trial. I wish you luck, my friend. Are you intentionally chal Are you intending to challenge the sacred trial? Or are you not? I have no doubt you shall succeed. Oh, whoops. Fuck you. Fear thee well. <laughs> Wish I could do this stuff in real life. Okay, so... I'm not swimming with you, motherfucker. So apparently, I gotta... Find the lights path find what the lights path shows conquer the ancient foe chase the rings at the waterfall i 
I am, but I might end up jumping around if I get frustrated here and there. Have you done this trial already? Thank you. Where's Prince Poopy Pants? I just feel bad. Uh, this is one of those reasons why I get slightly insecure about gaming, because I have no clue what I'm and why I usually say that gaming's like an alone experience, because it's one of the areas where us as humans, unless you're one of those people that's really, really good at all games, and I know those type of people. Analysis is one of those guys. He's just, you can tell, he just like, he gets in there, he's like, ah, I'm gonna kill this fucking shit. Me, it takes me a lot of uh, clumsy trial and error stuff, especially in games like this where I'm like, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. I gotta fucking stumble my way to the light. But I'm not real. I'm just like. Yeah. What's up, OTDA? So what I think I'm gonna do right now, just because I want to be proactive, <laughs> I want to be proactive. I want to be a proactive player here. Is I'm gonna go unlock each of the areas, just so I can come back. Cause I can always come back to Zora's domain. So go to unlock each one of these areas so then I know what I need to do in each area. So I can kind of bounce back between all four areas as I figure this bullshit out so I don't have to just dedicate my time to one and then start just whipping my fucking head against a fucking brick wall. Oh nice, up in Wisconsin. I'm probably just staying home and chilling. Uh, the last couple of years, we've gone to a casino on Christmas Eve, and that's been fun, but my aunt can't do it this year because of some other commitments. So, uh, Stephanie and I are going to stay home and watch Gremlins, and Gremlins 2, because she's never seen it. <laughs> and uh, I think we're going to do face masks. I think, I think that's the plan. <laughs> And though that's not a weird game I play. Oh, there that is. Yeah, I'm gonna watch. We're gonna watch Gremlins, Gremlins Two, while we do charcoal face masks. <laughs> And make homemade pasta or some shit like that. I'm gonna miss my casino time. It's, I want to say it's the last four years, maybe five years, we've gone to uh, the casino. 
No. Uh, I'm, I'm good. I'm good listening to your bullshit. Well, I was raised by... <laughs> I was raised in a beauty parlor. <laughs> well, it's gonna fall off real quick. <laughs> I only, only got so much time left. So, in this area. <laughs> it's gonna fall off like a fucking uh, brick wall. Okay, shoot the flame dragon's horn. Race down the. Race down a peak rings adorn. Shoot four targets to win. It's just complicated. <laughs> it's a battle we can't win. So I actually already got this one. Okay. So this one I think I need to go to Rito Village. Hey Cass, sing for me, motherfucker. Hey Gary, what's going on, buddy? Ooh. I wanna hear it. Sing, Rummy. Yeah, you better fucking sing. I gotta go in the other room. Okay, I'm Ulke, I'm back. Oi! A delay. Yeah, sing bitch. Yes, that 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 is my real name. You can call me dick. No, <laughs> you can call me asshole, you can call me But no, Phil's fine. But yes, Phil Phil is my real name. The issues guy is not my real last name, though. Not yet, anyways. <laughs> no matter how much I wish it was, no matter how many applications I fill out with it being my name, it's not. Phil the old guy. Phil the grumpy old issues guy. I got some issues, you little kids. Got some issues with your, with my tissues. Let me, let me zip, let me zippity doo da, zippity yay, my oh my, what a wonderful fuck, my way up to Rito, and dance with these friggin' bird people. Come on, big bird. <laughs> hey, Gary. I try, I tried doing that. I fill out applications. What's your name? D issues guy. I have a couple things that do come in the mail as the issues guy. I want to say even like my uh, my PO box, <laughs> I have registered as the issues guy or something. <laughs> and when I go in there to get mail for the issues guy stuff, they're like, like what? <laughs> what? 
What's your name? The Tahishu. I'm like the issues guy. Oh, oh, so uh, so you got issues. You get, it's almost like someone when uh, when you tell someone you're a stand-up comic, they're like, oh, so you got jokes, huh? Tell me the jokes, issues guy. What you got issues with? <laughs> I think that's an accurate description of me, both in my podcasting stuff and then what I what I do for uh, side work to actually pay for it all. <laughs> so, uh, I am a, I'm a children's entertainer, so I tell stories like, Once upon a time, under a village in a wonderful forest, lived a magic man. The magic man's name was... T. Leonardo. He had a brother named Donatello. And he had another brother named Raphael. And he had a pizza-swilling, lovely younger brother named Mikey. Or Michelangelo. And together they were the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They fought against someone called the Shredder. When I was young, when I was young the, one of the first things I ever did for goofy attention was draw horrible comic books. I mean, they were some of the worst things you've ever seen in your life. Like, like I can't draw. Joe, who's uh, who works on this channel as well, is an exceptional artist. He he always was really good, but he's 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 refined his talents, and uh, and hopefully one day Joe will be even good enough or have the technical specifications to create an issues guy cartoon for us. But uh, but yeah, that's a different story altogether. I have no artistic skills whatsoever when it comes to drawing or clay or you know I have some minimal talents you know I can putter around in music I can you know babble I can act a little bit you know and I can go on stage in front of people and be a goofy motherfucker but drawing's not one of them but I love the Ninja Turtles and I and I and I wanted to draw something I could I wanted to do something I could draw and the one thing I could draw was a relative like a stick finger look at stick finger looking ninja turtle so but instead of just making it the ninja turtles I put a dickhead on top of them and they were the where they were the teenage mutant ninja dickheads teenage mutant ninja dickheads teenage mutant ninja dickheads here is in a mushroom cap dickhead power and they all had their different names instead of being Leonardo and Donatello and all that sort of stuff. I mean, they still had the same names, but I mean, I guess I was ahead of, ahead of my time there because instead of it being Leonardo, it was Leo, you know, and instead of having a giant... Sorry, I'm trying to get music during this because it needs music. This whole situation. Oh, yes. Our leader, Leonardo. Leo. And instead of katanas, he has a pair of dildos. That's right, Leo the dickhead. <laughs> I was obviously inspired by Orgasmo. Or, actually, it was before Orgasmo. But whatever. Then, we got Donnie Tello. Donnie. I just said Donnie Tello because it's Don Tello. Dong. Dong Tello. <laughs> he has, because he does machines, he is a giant vibrator. Ooh, yeah. Raphael. I was... I had a problem with what to give Raphael. But the ninja dickhead Raphael has something called the Little Pricks. Two little mini dildos that he can fight with. That have three heads. Good enough to pleasure any guy or girl. Oh, yes. And then, of course... Then, of course, we have, down from St. Louis, we've got Mikey. She was lying, she kept on talking, stopped the dying. No, <laughs> wrong song, Mikey. And Mikey has the spermicidal jelly. He the spinning nunchucks, spermicidal jelly. They fight villains like Bee Bum and Rock Titty. That's right, Bee Bum and Rock Titty. Then they fight... <laughs> what the fuck was this shredder? <laughs> the shredder was, uh... Oh, yes, the vagina. <laughs> and he was just a giant vagina. And Krang is called the ball. You know, instead of Krang being a brain, he's just a single testicle. <laughs> and the Krang body is... What would say? Baxter Poopsman, stuff like that. It continued. It was bad. It was bad. I know you guys are like, what? 
So yeah, the Teenage Mutant Ninja dickheads need to be alive somewhere else. <laughs> and I drew a whole couple of comic book situations of them as well, like a, like some silly goofy comics. But it was horrible. I was, a, I, was a, I was a wacky little kid. I was wacky. I didn't know what I was doing. And I passed them around the schools, snuck into the teacher's, uh, teacher's room and used the photocopier and photocopied them and handed them out to all the kids in the locker room and shit. Everyone loved the Teenage Mutant Ninja dickheads. <laughs> do, do I need to go find your fucking Neil? Do I have to kneel and find the Wobblers? But I mean, ultimately, the Teenage Mutant Ninja dickheads should have stayed dead inside my memories forever. I will never speak of it again. Unless someone wants to help me make the series. <laughs> you can reach me at igetissuesman at gmail.com. <laughs> I gotta talk to Joe about that. He would uh, he would draw some amazing Teenage Mutant Ninja dickheads. His his art skills are, uh, are, are amazing. I need to challenge him with some great uh, great things to do because... Oh shit! I'm spilling sandwich meat all over the place? That's no good. That's no fucking good. What did Joe? What did Joe think? What did Joe? What did Joe think? What did Joe? What did Joe think? Was it good or did it really fucking say? What did Joe? What did Joe think? What did Joe? What did Joe think? What did Joe? What did Joe think? Was it all right or did it drive into drink? second while I'm playing the Joe Think songs while I wrap up a uh, sandwich for me, myself. What did Joe? What did Joe think? What did Joe? What did Joe think? What did Joe? What did Joe think? Was it good or did it really fucking stink? What did Joe? What did Joe think? What did Joe? What did Joe think? What did Joe? What did Joe think? Was it all right or did it drive him to drink? Now, as if anyone was listening, <laughs> now that is the "What Would Joe Think" demo version right there of the of the song sung by Stephanie and I. But ultimately, what we want to do, if anyone was listening to the podcast last night, the the new what did Joe think podcast that's going to be on every once in a while on uh, Joe's every two weeks on his Sundays because he's not going to be able to be with us every Sunday. Uh, so we're going to turn uh, every other Sunday into basically what did Joe think or bring back that show a lot here and there when Joe can't necessarily make it for another podcast and we want to catch up with some cool stuff. Timo had an excellent idea in the chat last night. Add some verses to the what did what what does Joe what did Joe think song? If you're feeling anything, you got any lyrics you you want, please email me at igotissuesman at gmail.com or you can tweet me at igotissuesman or 
tweet at Joe at Dirty Locks. You can also make sure if you tweet at Joe, you also put me in there too at I Got Issues Man. And add some lyrics to the Joe, the what, what Did Joe Think song, and I'll record them in there for the next What Did Joe Think show. So uh, if anyone has any thoughts about that, jump on in. And one more time so you can get a flow for it. It can be at any speed, you know. <laughs> Give me some speed. What did Joe, what did Joe think? What did Joe, what did Joe think? What did Joe, what did Joe think? Was it good or did it really fucking say? So yeah, if anyone has any more lyrics for that song, help you out. Help us out. Get your words in the Joe song. I don't want your warm grub, bird person. I want Big Bird. Where's Big Bird? My new- the one I was working on was something about a shrinky dink. I'm so glad I got this fixed. Anyways, at least I know what was going wrong with it. I sort of started to panic. I'm like, why the fuck is this keep disconnecting? Not that it's like running perfect, but. Let's check. While I'm doing nothing, I'll just put my computer on a little mix. <laughs> I don't want any more of that song to play. Go oh, off, fuck. Sorry, guys.
Check, check. Hello. Cool, sweet. Welcome, Rob. Okay, here we go. Let me see. Wonder what happened. Yeah, I saw it too. Somehow it, the audio got disconnected there for a second. Hopefully, it won't happen again. I can't make any promises. What the fuck's going on here? What do you want? I remember doing that. I don't remember where exactly it is. It's so, been so long ago, but I will check. I will check out the situation. And to answer your question about what I'm doing on New Year's Eve, basically we usually have an open house kind of thing where it's, I wouldn't call it a party, but you know, some family members or a couple friends may swing by, and we'll have a couple of drinks and chill and watch some movies or whatever. Some <laughs> sing some karaoke, do some silliness. Some years we may have like five or ten people or something like that, or maybe a few more. Some years it might be just us. But we keep meaning like the only other thing I like doing on New Year's Eve, like par New Year's Eve parties are all right, I guess. Going to concerts on New Year's Eve is kind of cool. Like watching a band, like what what. Or some sort of show or something. It's kind of neat. I was in Vegas one year, New Year's. That was pretty cool. But. I feel like I'm a bummer saying this, but it's not that I have any problem with the holidays. It's just I'm not a big. I don't have any, like, crazy plans in the holidays ever. I do get crazy plans, but it's like when crazy plans come up, it's craziness. I'm like, I'm like the organized craziness on a certain day. I'm just like, eh. I don't want to be organized craziness. That's not craziness. I just like it because there's like no cars on the road and you can do shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm a stick in the mud, I guess. What am I going to do? I'm probably going to play video games. <laughs> What's up, Fawful? You might have been... You might have been on one of the other streams. I was mentioning this before, that there's three other people that stream many different games on this channel. So if you were checking out... Like, maybe watching... What am I doing in my finding? Neil? I don't want to find Neil. Why did I... Neil was at Wobbler Place practicing a song. Let him in the Okay, so I just have to go let him know it's safe. Let her know it's safe. Fuck it up. Okay. Pat 
<laughs> no, if anything, we'll have Stephanie doing Mario or something. Or maybe we'll get a new game. But, I mean, I really did like the holidays when I was a kid when I had, like, a certain ritual that we did. And, I, and as I mentioned before, the last... I can't remember if the mic was on at that point or not, but the last four years, I've gone to down to the casino on Christmas Eve. New Year's Eve just notoriously always ends up either being I have a party. Like when I was most of most of the time it's either I have a party or I go to like a concert or something like that. I t that's one of those nights I like to have. Not a party but like a large gathering of friends. Nice. Congratulations to everyone that is on their way to being on break. Whether it be work break that you'll get around the holidays or finals being over or just having some school time off and getting ready for your winter breaks. That's honestly the best part of the holidays. <laughs> having time off. Whoa, what am I doing? I'm about to kill myself. The clumsy hero in full effect. Okay, so now I need to go back to my fucking shit. You all happy now? No more crying? <laughs> What's up, Chris? Great to see you. Great to, every great to everyone that has popped on in here this afternoon at some point to check out this live stream of me literally just running around in fucking circles and doing nothing. Because, the because Enigma, the video game, is smarter than me. I hope you're doing all right, Fawful. Eye surgery can be poopy. Hope, <laughs> hope you're recovering and they got you some uh, So whenever I think about the surgery, I'm thinking about like cataracts and oh, that means you can smoke weed, right? That means they're gonna give you some weed. <laughs> but no, I hope the surgery goes real well, dude, or went well and you recover quickly. Yeah, teach me the fucking song. Wow, we got a great group in the live motherfucking chat right now. Welcome to all the new faces or people that have been streamed with Joe or Taka. And to all the FOP friends. Great to see all you guys in there. Where is she? Where's your sister? Tell me where your fucking sister is! You're welcome. Tell me about the dragon. Tanger Canyon? No, no, I'm gonna go to ta I'm gonna take this one step at a time, so I gotta go to Tanger Canyon. I went to Tanger Canyon once. Back in 1682. Way back when, back in Tanger Canyon, I... I smiled that day in the canyon. 
What the... Where is the fucking canyon? <laughs> I am lucky every day I have all you motherfuckers. It makes shit fun. Shoot the flame dragon's horn. Yeah, I know how to do that now. But I gotta find the Tanyan Canyon. Now, tell me where to get there, big guy. One more time. Tell me about the dragon. Oh, there's Tanger Canyon. Okay. Oh, cool. I can travel to this fucking shrine. Oh, I'm sorry. My effect's still on. Let me turn that shit off. When it comes. <laughs> when it comes, got you down in me, you boy. And you boy, snuckabooky, taco, baka, dookie, takai. Zippa, doopoo, boo, boo, ba, 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 do, ba. Sorry, guys. This is what happens. This is what happens when you fuck a stranger in the ass, Donnie. No. <laughs> That's what happens. Not Donnie. What's, what's the kid's name? That's what happens when you fuck a stranger in the ass. Oh, dude. Lots of good vibes to you, Fawful. Ooh, dude. Well, I'm glad, like, as awful as it is, as awful as it is, I'm glad you're all right, and I'm hor so sorry you had to go through all that shit, and hopefully you're nearing an end of it all. But having been to some car accidents and shit like that, that shit's scary enough, and then to get fucking hurt, all, like, all good vibes to you, man. So, like, hopefully shit is... You know, heading in the more positive direction. With the prosthetic being put in and all of that. Yeah, like, my words are going to make you feel better. <laughs> you know, oh, okay, thanks. You said feel better. I'm going to. Thanks, Phil. You're such a good guy. Fuck you. Fuck you. You take your fucking feel better ass and show it on your. But no, seriously, man. I don't. I don't want to get you. Keep your fucking stories in a fucking basket, you piece of shit. I don't know why I'm giving you this accent. <laughs> and I apologize for it. I just felt like I was about, I was about to do like a uh, public service announcement for you or something. So. Gotta go in the other direction, I guess. Awesome, dudes. So you're nearing the end of it all. Take your no playing Zelda ass and keep your sorries in a handbasket, ass fuck. Oh, so, so I was right at the beginning, but I was like, okay, like, you know, worst case scenario, you know, you're hurt, you're gonna get some good medical weed. <laughs> so I gotta, like, walk around this canyon now, looking for a dragon. Oh, that's fucking great. List of things I don't want to be doing, walking around, looking for an angry dragon. What am I gonna do, Jamie Lannister the thing and like charge the fucking dragon? <laughs> yeah, I need. Is there a fucking. Is there a. <laughs> I was just gonna say a kennel. Is there a fucking stable around here somewhere? Okay, so I, let me go all the way this direction, then I'll turn around and walk all the way back. So let me let me 
put a marker at the canyon, green, and go towards the green. Sweet, man. Good, because one of these days the Switch is going to have a really cool multiplayer game we can play on here. With all of us Switch owners. It was really neat. I mean, some something that might seem kind of obvious, but was cool the other night. Uh, Stephanie and I were having a family holiday party. Where we had uh, her family and my family over. It ended up being like <laughs> like 30 people with four of them being my family and uh, 26 of them being her family. But her family is awesome and it was a good time. But there was a bunch of kids that came by and I was a little nervous about keeping my Switch, our Switch, out. But so I, so I just packed it away in a closet with all the kids that were coming. But two of the kids that came both brought their switches. Like, two of the different household kids both bought their switches. So, I went into, like, you know, ignore the adults, hang out with the kids mode. Which I'm very good at. And... So, my switch was in the closet. And they were all playing Mario. They both had Mario and they were playing it back and forth. And what's neat, and it may seem like an obvious thing, is they could just plug it into our cradle, you know, the dock thing, and then play it on the TV, and they kept taking turns just taking each of their switches out of the dock and playing it on the television. It's just neat. It's not something, like, it's an obvious thing, but not something that really I thought about right away that you can just, you know, take a switch to anybody's house that has a switch and then stick it in their dock and play it on their TV. And it was pretty cool. It, it pacified the kids all night as they were playing Switch games. And then eventually the kids left and we busted out our Switch to play with the more adult <laughs> cousins. <laughs> oh no, totally Fawful. All jokes here. What I meant to say is medicinal marijuana usage if you're of the right age and live in a state where it's completely legal and have a have a license for stuff. Other than that, just sandwich juice. Like, you just eat a very tasty sandwich. My Master Sword ran out of energy? No! But yeah, no, all, all, all good, all, all jokes. Like I often say in make-believe games, not real. Oh, absolutely, I definitely checked out some of their stuff. Great, great channel. You're about to be, fuck those, no, but no, great, great fucking channel. Of course this dragon's gonna be in the complete opposite direction. I, I don't come up. Yeah, the switch, it, it really didn't. I know you guys are on a, or I'm on a major delay with... With you guys seeing what I say. <laughs> and my memory doesn't help the situation. But yeah, the Switch came out clutch. And was a hit of the party. That and the Lucky. <laughs> Uh-oh. Looks like I'm gonna have to take a little side mission here because... What's that sound? Do I hear a beep beep? 
And as we all know, rule number one of the Be Friends with Quixote handbook is I'm not allowed to ignore a beep beep. <laughs> yeah, funny joke. Yeah, totally. I, I, <laughs> I didn't think about that. That was a good callback, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Good callback. Yeah, if I want to continue my friendship with Kyote and not have her hire the faceless men to come get me in the night, I need to follow the beep beeps. This isn't suspicious. Take a walk, buddy. Rock in the circle. Crack rock? No, sorry. This rock. <laughs> Complete the cycle. Complete the cycle. Da, da, oh, or do I put it right here in the missing uh, missing area? Oh, it's fucking magic. Fuck you, it's magic! Fuck you, nothing up my sleeve, it's bad. Fuck you, it's magic! That fuck you, it's magic stuff, if anyone doesn't know what I'm talking about. Like, I, I don't like to I don't like to steal jokes and not say the jokes I'm stealing them from. Uh, if anyone's ever watched Mystery Science Theater 3000, Joel, one of the, orig the original guy who did the, uh, was the, you know, the first, the first main guy on it used to be a stand-up comedian, or he's still a stand-up comedian. Uh, and he did this act on the Rodney Dangerfield HBO special. One of the same ones that Sam Kinison performed at, and the first time I ever saw Sam Kinison was on that. And he did, his act at that point in time was a bad m magician. And he was this like horrible magician that would just like throw cards at, you know, call someone up. Do you see anything with nothing up my sleeve? There's a bird. Fuck you! Yeah. It's magic! Like, I'm not gonna do it justice. It's very funny. Amba. Hey, Amba. Come here. I'm on Survivor. I'm Boston Rob. Hey, Amba. <laughs> hey, Amba. I'm gonna fucking marry ya. Come here, Amba. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm st ah! Oh no! I'm such a little kitty cat. I see shiny things. I have to go after them. Amber. Topaz, dude. Give me some topaz. I am from in Joe and Taka. The the streamers on this channel. We're all from the Boston area. Different parts of Massachusetts and New England. Well, this doesn't look creepy at all. Get the fuck out of here, you fucking geese. You too, geesey. What is all this? Okay, I'm going away from the beep beep now. Oh, is that the dragon? Is that the dragon I need to shoot? 
I assume that's the dragon. <laughs> I don't notice a lot of other dragons around. So what do I gotta do to the fucking dragon? I gotta shoot a horn off its back? Okay, so the dragon's found. Let's let's worry about this beep beep. So Kyoti doesn't have a conniption fit here. <laughs> well, there is a Boston in England, I believe. I don't know my geography well. I don't know my UK geography well. Follow him. I will go after the dragon. I'm gonna try to get this beep beep first. I don't think that dragon's going anywhere. I think you can spot him. Dragon music. That is awesome. That's what. Another one of the things I just love about this game, just how little, like, subtle touches like that. Like when the dragon comes near, you hear certain music. Well, I never liked these big swords till, uh, till this playthrough right here. I always prefer that, like, the mid sized sword. No, don't go wipe out the whole village, Anakin. Okay. I'm gonna go after the fucking dragon then. I may have lost him. Hey, yo, anyone see a dragon? <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going. Oh, I'm going in the wrong direction anyways. Okay, so I want to put... Let me make this a little bit easier for myself here and put that there. So now I have a fucking If you're going to have problems watching me because I'm an idiot, then you might as well go because I am an idiot and I play like an idiot and I have fun playing like an idiot. So, sorry if that's going to bother you.
Go check. There's plenty of other people streaming Zelda that may do what you want them to do. But I'm just going to now sit here and have Link sit on the screen for a few minutes. Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> no. No, I'm not going to do that. No, this ended up being the most interesting thing ever. Why aren't they attacking me? They're just sitting there laughing at me, trying to scare me. <laughs> Are they just gonna, they're never gonna attack me? I kinda wanna turn the camera. I'm afraid they're gonna fucking attack me once I do. So they will not attack me with this mask on unless I make the first move. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? Can I, like, taunt this dude right off a cliff? Far does this go? Like, That was fun. Rivali's Gale is now ready.
Um, my goal initially was to just unlock all the... the first parts of the quest so I knew all the things I needed to do. Getting sidetracked. to do was unlock I want I was thinking about unlocking all four of these areas I already got this this one and this one I was gonna go here in here to unlock these two. But then I heard the shrine, saw the dragon, missed the dragon. So I'll probably just go over here and then go back there at a later date. Shoot the flame dragon's horn. That flame motherfucking dragon. That's weird. <laughs> Computers have a mind of their own for sure. I have my horsey. Where's Mr. Ed? I miss Mr. Ed. I think that's one of the things you can unlock with this uh, DLC as well. The ability to...
call your horse from anywhere. I think that's one of the things you can do now. Rumor has it there's a burrito that enhances horse skills and style, and you can summon your horse right to you. Does this supposedly exist? Apparently, the high, Highland Stable has a copy of the Super Rumor Mill, which has some. Get the care. Okay. No, I don't want to do that. No, no, not yet. But I do need to do that at some point. Hey, Bumba. Sure. Fine. Let's play. Do I want to play a game? Of course. I'm going to be really awful at this game. So I need to, I need to, I need to cheat, right? <laughs> Technically, this is totally cheating. <laughs> Why did I think this would be fun? Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. I'm no Jack Nicholas. Okay, can I quit? How do you quit? Can I aim this thing at him? There you go. There you go. Let's aim this fucking thing at yours, Gorin. For Rob. Oh. for robbing me of money. Yeah, I quit. Oh, I was supposed to get this thing. I was gonna get a sledgehammer. Yeah, we'll play golf later. Or not. What's funny is that's very similar to what me really playing golf would be like. Side note, don't take me playing golf. <laughs> I'll drive the cart and eat sandwiches. Hippie sandwiches. I'm really better at bowling. Wii Golf, or Wii Sports Resort Golf, I'll play that. You guys want to play that? We'll do that. That'd be fun. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I hate when I ignore my phone for a while and then you look down and you have 15,000 messages. And I exaggerate. Excellent, thank you. What, why am I talking to my text message? Excellent, thank you. Person that can't hear me right now. And thank you, other person that can't hear me right now. 
And no, I don't like that person I can't hear right now. And a heart back to you, other person. You're the bee's knees. I have too many markers now. Let me keep rolling down the canyon. Rolling, rolling on a cannon. Oh, I'm still in the game. I actually managed to hit it on the course still. It's not out of bounds. But I'm quitting. I quit your stupid game. Bye. Keep my 20 rupees. I'll make more. Hi, pup. I know, it's shitty out. Hey! Go I don't care. Keep your fucking stupid empty f entry fee. I quit. Yeah. I don't want to play your stupid golf game right now. I made a mistake. Keep my 20. Yeah. Maybe if the game costs like 5 th I don't want to be like... Uh-oh. Keep my 20 rupees. What a dick. I need to do some cooking. It's been a while. Stop me. I killed Ganon. I get the Hyrulean juice. <laughs> you bat? Like, <laughs> you guys really think? Okay, maybe you have a chance. Your fucking stupid head falls off, and then you're useless, too. I don't even want your arm for a weapon. Fuck the Starks. Young Wolf. Jamie Lannister sends his regards. Out of my way.
is coming for you, young Stark. the dragon again okay so I see the dragon what do I need to do with the dragon again I need to I need to shoot the flame dragon's horn I hear the dragon music this time. That's pretty fucking amazing. So I have to shoot the flame dragon's horn? How do I shoot its fucking horn? I have to get up high enough, right? You're not getting away, flame dragon. I'm coming after you. Hey, Ayn. Great to see you, buddy. shoot the dragon. If it was a shard from the horn, get the horn. And he's gone, right? Yeah, what I need to do, you're right, I need to get way up high and then just wait for the next appearance. that if I shoot it, I shoot the horn. Oh no, there's the dragon. He's, I'm catching up. <laughs> but I still need to get higher. Ready to roll. Thanks, random anime voice. I'm not gonna catch up to him on feet on foot. So let me just climb to the fucking top and be ready next time. I gotta get the high ground, Anakin. I'm about to fall, aren't I? Come on, Link. Come on, Link. Don't do it. Don't fall. Don't fall.
dragon's just hanging out in there. Maybe I can catch up to him. And then jump up over there is what I'm thinking. No, and I'm getting closer, so... Just so he can go and tell me to go fuck myself. Game stupid. <laughs> I hate your game. <laughs> Note to self, do not push X every time. If anyone is looking for an alternative to Zelda right now, I'll figure I'll promote my buddy. <laughs> Taka just started streaming on Twitch. So if anyone wants to see someone else do some streaming at the moment, definitely go over and check out Taka. few seconds till my jump up powers back Rivali's gale is now ready Those. 
I'd say climbing is one of the things I'm most rusty on, having not played this for, for a long period of time. Just like guesstimating how high I can actually climb up. But I think I should be able to stand up here. Oh yeah. <laughs> waste another one. Oh yeah, I will. I'm gonna make this as easy on myself as possible. <laughs> I like that, Alan. Get that second wind. Maybe I should have got a third wind. This isn't looking good right now. Shit, 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 shit. Do I have any stamina potion? Any fucking stamina potion going on here? Bass, the old... What does this give me? Frozen slide? You can manage to chew it. Lower your body temperature. I don't need to lower my body temperature. I need to get a fucking stamina boost. Not haste. Oh fuck. Does any food give me stamina? Or just like plain food? Probably not. I'm fucked. <laughs> I'm about to fall a lot. I have nothing that will. Nothing. Nothing that can help. Hmm. I'm all the way down the bottom. What the fuck? Try a different mountain since we have time to waste. That fucking dragon comes back.
This does help, but it also makes stamina go down a lot quicker. Get it. Get that mountain link. Why's that not standing ground? What the shit? I suck. I'm hor I'm horrible. Sorry to everybody and your families. To this embarrassing display. I thought that was going to be solid ground right there. I really did. Oh, fuck. What time is it? Ugh. I was supposed to start soaking potatoes. Wow, I made it. <laughs> Soaking cards. I think I remember that, actually. Yes, I'm going to be making uh, french fries. Or a potato chip type stuff. We got one of those air fryers. I don't know if anyone's used one of those air fryers. We should do a... Uh air fryer review because they're fucking amazing someone got us one for a for a wedding gift ooh beautiful sculptures weather raining sideways sorry that was horrible I'm just thinking of Braveheart so I'm up on top here, so now I'm waiting for the fucking fire dragon to come back, but it's raining. And the best thing you can do if you want to cook french fries... I've had a pretty good experience with ours so far. I don't know about the one you see on the infomercial with the rotisserie and all that sort of shit. The one that someone got us was, one, like, it's an LG one. It's got a little basket in it and stuff. I'll tell you what it's awesome for. In my experience so far. I haven't tried, like, cooking breads or cooking meats and shit in it yet. I've cooked french fries, like homemade french fries from potatoes and if you prepare the potatoes right and stuff you have to put like barely any oil on it instead of like soaking the you know like getting a a pot to boil on the stove and cook potatoes and boiling oil and all that sort of shit you basically just spray them with like or just sprinkle a little bit of oil on it i mean like a little bit and you put them in and they fry up like crisp like potato chips i mean they don't taste quite as quite as indulgent <laughs> in some ways if you use less oil. I mean, you can soak them in oil. I know some people that like soak them in oil for a while and stuff and then put them in there. Uh, but 
but what they're really good for is like is microwave things that you like on the stove or in the oven that you don't want to wait the time so you cook them in the microwave and i know it seems like weird but like things like pizza rolls frozen french fries frozen pieces of ravioli if you have like frozen ravioli that you get in the supermarket those like little mini ravioli things dip spray a little bit of oil on each one of those and just throw it in the air fryer for fucking like 20 minutes or not 20 minutes not even depending on how many you cook like two minutes or something like that and it fries it up it gives you like fried raviolis excuse me so for like cooking frozen shit, chicken wings, mozzarella sticks, shit like that, if you get that frozen stuff and you like it but you hate having to wait for it to be all good in the oven when you like cook it crispy. So sometimes you're like, fuck it, I'll just cook the pizza rolls in the microwave and they don't come out as good but I'll just do it that way. You put it in this thing for even even less time than you put it in the microwave and like it, they just come out like crispy and fluffy and like they're in an oven or the homemade french fries are easy and all that sort of shit. They're all right. One of the patron-only videos is me making stuffed shells. <laughs> Get a sneak Revali's peek of what a Cooking ready. with Phil channel would be like. Or like frozen fried chicken, like frozen buffalo wings. Any frozen food that like, it will increase the tasteability of that by like 15. <laughs> Without having to wait all the extra time. Like, I always hated frozen french fries because they never tasted quite right in the oven and I don't have a fry later, but, like, you put frozen french fries or, like, frozen cur curly fries or some shit in that thing, they just come out, like, tasting like restaurant. Curly fries. Steph cooked a couple of potato luckies in there. She cooked bacon in there. The bacon came out ridiculously awesome. It was messy. Like, you didn't have to put, you know, you just put the bacon in alone. You didn't have to add any oil or anything. And the bacon came out near perfect, but... There was a lot to clean up afterwards. But damn, bacon was good in that thing. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm actually a fan. Dragon, I'm ready for you. It's just good for simple shit like that. Like, you'd be surprised. You'd be... Like, it sat in our counter since May, and we didn't start using it till a couple of weeks ago, because we were both very dubious of it. But then once we've started using it, it's like... <laughs> We're kind of surprised at what it could do. I'm ready for you, dragon. Only have one arrow? What's the shit? Oh, I'm right near the stable. I can go buy supplies, probably. I don't want to oversell it, but... 
I was pleasantly su surprised with how well it worked. Again, at least the LG one that we have. Merchant, give me your shit. Hey. You can use any kind of oil you want. You can, definitely can use coconut oil. Coconut oil, vegetable oil, olive oil, no oil. The first time I cooked the fries, I used no oil. And sometimes when I cooked, when I cook like, uh, I know it seems ridiculous, but one of my favorite snacks right now is just taking frozen raviolis and putting like a couple frozen raviolis in the thing, no oil whatsoever, and just letting the air fry or fry them up. Putting oil on them makes them a little bit tastier, like naturally tastier. But I, I even like the, the how they taste, just in the fryer. But yeah, you can use any kind of oil you want. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Let me get back to this fucking thing. I don't want to... <laughs> the frying issues program. Maybe I'll make a cooking french fries video <laughs> oh yeah there he is okay I gotta shoot his horn shoot him with my arrow? What do I need to hit him with? Shoot his horn, so I gotta get in front of him. No! Never gonna get this guy this time either. I 
I was up higher than him over there, but now he's like standing up straight. Love the challenge, but this is gonna be tough. I'll get you, you motherfucker. Where are you going? Come back. Come back, motherfucker. Don't know who you're dealing with. Pissed off Link. Again, I wasn't prepared because I went back to the fucking stable. Because I didn't have any arrows. But now I, I gotta sit on that fucking bridge up there. And just stare out in that direction. And play the fucking waiting game. Shoot that thing in its motherfucking horn. If my regular arrow will do. Probably have to have like an ancient arrow or some shit. But we'll try it. Let's try this one. Oh, fuck. These pig face fuckers. these horses alone. <laughs> Thanks, horsey. Yeah, I got distracted by my love of the air fryer. I actually sold uh, one of my friends on getting one too, who's been on the on the fence. one of those things I don't know if all air fryers are made the same like all I can speak for is what I got I will not pay you back if your air fryer sucks <laughs> so I assume this is the place that I have to shoot his ass this seems like a logical place a fucking bridge Right here, the spot right here, I'm gonna shoot his fucking, shoot his ass right here, bam. So while we wait, <laughs> Well, we wait. Well, 
Let's think about the important question of... What did Joe? What did Joe think? What did Joe? What did Joe think? What did Joe? What did Joe think? Was it good or did it really fucking stink? Sorry, I thought she just wanted to hear that again. Let <laughs> me mm. put on a slightly longer song while I run to the little hero's room. I think be right back. We can play this. This was the uh, one versus one theme song. Shout out to Taka. Hi there. Hi, buddy. Hello, Miss. Hi, good pups and kitties. Yeah, I thought I like this part. I like that part too. What did Joe think? What did Joe think? What did Joe think? What did Joe think? Was it good or did it really fucking stink?
It's a demo version of the song, as I've mentioned, and if you have any lyrics you may want to add to the song, or if you just think there should be another verse of the rant, 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 let us know. And I'll, and I'll loop it. Here we go. <laughs> Fucking burr. <laughs> Sorry, it's cold as a witch's tit. That that Mel, Mel, that witch, her her cold tit. Thick did I oh that's why my that's why the couch wasn't comfortable. You ever look for something, you can't find it. And I just sat down. I got up and had a sandwich. Not not my kind of sandwich, like a real sandwich. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. It's eleven AM, what time do I have to wait till like five or something? I should be watching the time more closely. What time is it in real life? Oh, Lotus is almost time. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it, Captain. Rant, 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 but eh. Rant, 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 wood. Wood. See, it'd be great. The, the, I think one of the added parts to it, especially, it needs to be longer. Like, we could, we could do, we could repeat it. Even if I just loop the song twice in a row, it needs to be longer. And I also think we need some Joe in it. Like, I need to, uh, get a couple clips from even just, like, one random rant and have, uh, have a rant in there. Oh, what did Joe think? What did Joe? What did Joe think? It's bullshit. What did Joe? What did Joe think? It's it bullshit. Did it really fucking stink? It fucking stinks. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Motherfucker. What did Joe? What did Joe think? Fuck him all. What did Joe? What did Joe? That think? show fucking sucks. What did Joe think? Was it alright? Or did it drive him to drink? Fuck that fucking show. <laughs> Fuck that <laughs> something like that. Come on, Dragon Spawn, spin off the rest. All evil creatures are the best. Say, so go there and come back, but then I'm gonna miss it again. I definitely have one, one, one take of a loop that's just a rant, 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 rant over and over again so I can play it right after he rants. And that one caller I have that says, Joe, I fucking love you. I gotta find a place to put that in the song too. <laughs> it was meant as a demo version, but I figured I'd play it on the show anyway. For the, for the uh, inaugural What Did Joe Think podcast. Which reminds me, I need to upload that to the podcast server later. Fuck. I have to do it. Sitting here and waiting for a dragon. 
causes me to tell useless stories, like how last night did the podcast with Joe. And usually on a Sunday night during The Walking Dead or Game of Thrones, I may have a beverage or two and get a little silly. Last night it was Joe's turn. He had some shots. I did not. But what's funny is I forgot to turn off my mixing table. So I came, came down this morning and everything was still on. But when I when I when I have many drinks, that never happens. Moral of the story is Sunday nights I should drink. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi kissy face. Are you warm? Are you warm, kissy face? <laughs> I wish you guys could see Lotus right now. Yeah. What a lotus. What a lotus think. Psst. I'm going to share a picture of lotus on share your stuff of uh, lotus right now on, on the discord group. So if you're not a member of the discord group, you can join to see this lotus picture. But Lotus is looking unhappy, hating the cold. Hey, YouTube fan, and hey, Chris Moon. No, you didn't miss anything. You missed me being embarrassed over and over again by a dragon. And air frying issues program. And me posting a picture of Lotus hiding. Hiding from the cold. <laughs> Waiting for dragon. Waiting for a dragon to come. Waiting for a dragon. Waiting for a dragon. Rosa's fury is ready. Thanks. I hear some weird sounds. Could this be our dragon friend coming? Welcome, YouTube fan, and welcome back, Chris. Let's see how the dragon has man manages to get away from me this time. <laughs> It'd be like... It'd be like... And Antonio Banderas and assassins here. Just hold my target. Hold it. Come on, you dragon fucker. It's almost night. Where's the song of time? And I know I can make a campfire and do all that sort of shit.
Everything I do, they, they they just played a few notes from everything I do, I do it for you. <laughs> everything I do, I do it for Lynx Nuts. When I try myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary rolls a sandwich. Uh-oh. Oh, it's nighttime. Better put down this sandwich paper. Now by shoot, could they mean a camera? <laughs> Excuse me. When it comes <laughs> oh. <laughs> I need to be careful because I am a klutz. Okay, it's night time. Time for that motherfucker. Where are you? Which direction is he coming from? That's the goal, man. Or, I gotta shoot the dragon's horn, it says. Just shoot his horn. Uh-oh. This is getting spooky now. I'm gonna Jamie Lannister this fucking dragon right to its death. Should I, like, aim down and shoot it? No. At times like this, I drink a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I just don't want to miss it. <laughs> Not miss it, like look away for a second and he's right here. I want to be prepared for the fucking dragon. Come on, dragon. Where are you going to fucking spawn? Down, down, down. Dragon's going down.
32 a.m. Where's the fuck's the dragon? It's past 1.30. That's my bedtime. Sorry, everybody. I promised a dragon. <laughs> I was... Unless the dragon's like Jaws four and knows I, and like knows me. He has two different sounds when he jumps. I don't know if I can wait another day just on this fucking bridge. What if I got a poop? What would Joe think? <laughs> what would Joe? What would Joe think? It would drive him to drink. We'll just leave it. A beautiful morning here in Hyrule. Link, the hero, waiting and watching and watching and waiting for a dragon sighting to continue with this mission. So far today, he has accomplished nothing in his Zelda play. It makes him sick, sick to his stomach. It might be time to try something different. Since he's nearing the end of his stream, he wants to feel like he accomplished something. Like the 
can't play for too much longer. I don't want to just sit and wait for a fucking dragon to show up again. Let's try it. Let's, let's see what happens here. Time to play the music, enter the ring, light up one last game sandwich for the di for the night. Or at least the day. Maybe I'll stream again tonight. I'm happy that this is at least consistent. Well, not my gameplay. <laughs> but I somehow found a... Uh... The stream's been relatively stable since I... Started using this version of it. I've had enough dragon hijinks for one year. But speaking of which, what is today's date? Ooh, few more days. Till winter has come here on the issues program. As I can, as I know, you can't wait for uh, <laughs> me to get back into some Game of Thrones discussion. Considering that we're going to go a whole calendar year without Game of Thrones, potentially. But it's time, once winter starts, let's start talking about it again. Oh, Betty. My cat is vomiting. Gross. I was like, what's that sound? According to this special issue, there's a bridle that enhances your horse's skills and saddle or summons your horse to your side. 
when it's supposedly under a cherry blossom tree at a mountain where creatures gather. Oh, Betty. What are you throwing up, dude? Excuse me again for one second. If you're not okay with cleaning up vomit, don't ever get a cat. South of Hyrule Ridge.
Okay, yeah, life lessons. <laughs> Throw it on a cat if you fucking can't deal with puke. They puke every day. For 20 years, if you're lucky. Or close to it. Keep saying 20, but it's like 18. Almost 19. I'm looking for, what's my clues here? I'm looking for under a cherry blossom tree in a mountain where creatures gather. They said south of the ridge. Fucking jump. Is this under a cherry blossom place where people gather? <laughs> I have a feeling this is where a horse thing is. Zelda is like a box of chocolates. Be 
sure to take the time to soothe your mind. That's the only way you will know how you truly feel. Your advice was quite helpful, thank you. This little one and I are getting along quite well now. At first, I wasn't sure if I should outfit him with all of the royal gear. I thought maybe he should have to earn it first. But it works. He wears it like a true natural. I'm trying to be a bit more empathetic. Benefit of the doubt, you know? Hmm. Oh, that looks beautiful. See that mountain? That's Mount Lanera. It takes its name from the goddess of wisdom. Lanera's decree is very specific. It says no one is allowed under the age of 17. For only the wise are permitted a place upon the mountain. I've prayed at the spring of courage and at the spring of power, yet neither awoke anything inside me. But maybe up there, perhaps the spring of wisdom, the final of the three, will be the one. Perhaps. To be honest, I have no real reason to think that will be the case. But there's always the chance that the next moment will change everything. Tomorrow is my 17th birthday. So then I shall go and make my way up the mountain. Coming up the mountain. Oh. Is that something completely different? Like one of my vision quests. That's the ridge. It's south of the ridge. <laughs> what did Joe? What did Joe think? Will he fuck with a shrinky dink? Good girl. Find a fucking cherry blossom. Food. Oh, 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 I think I might have found it. These are cherry blossoms? I'm just guessing. I'm getting some good grub. I haven't made food in a while. I gotta have a moment to make some food. And there's my chest. 
There's my boob. Come here. Okay, there's that one, and I got one more part I need to find. At a spring where the horse spirit presides. So is that back where I just came from? Where the horse spirit. <laughs> it's his climbing outfit. This is uh, Link looking like a girl. <laughs> this is my favorite outfit I own, the the, uh, the Twilight outfit. There he is. again a spring where a horse spirit resides Check out all the bodies of water in this area. See no horse spirit.
A spring where the horse spirit resides. A spring where the horse spirit. Oh. The dude resides. No, the dude abides. <laughs> One second, I gotta return a text. Talk to you soon, Chris. And welcome in here, Zach. Thank you so much for checking this out, even just for a second. Do appreciate it. This channel, if you're thinking about stopping by more often, there's three other streamers. Joe is doing Friday the 13th right now. Taka mainly does Twitch stuff, but he comes over here sometimes and does random games. And I do... Nintendo Switch stuff and old school Nintendo games. Or just old school games, sometimes Genesis games and stuff. Thank you, my friend. Really do appreciate that. Welcome to the motherfucking chat. <laughs> around here somewhere.
It's a big hole. <laughs> Random hole in the middle of Fifth Avenue. <laughs> this. Ah, oh, Horse God Bridge. That's. Whoa. Ooh, mighty bananas! I have a feeling crossing something horse god bridge, I'm heading in the right direction. I'm looking for a horse spirit. to your fucking story. Yes, I did. Oh, all you need is money. It's not, why does this seem like a scheme? Like, when those... I got a thousand dollars for you. Just send me a hundred. Take it by buddy. fucking thing now I need to attack sir um we'll be there in a second to attack this fucking thing I think we'd need to Looks like one of the things from Pink Floyd the Wall the movie, like the teacher or something, or the mother. Um Yes please. Bring back zebra ass. Excuse me. Maybe by accident. This guy. Thanks for bringing zebra ass back from the Lazarus chamber here, but. <laughs> Hi, zebra ass. It's good to see you, buddy. It's good to see zebra ass.
Hmm. This is the fucking spirit thing. Oh, it's right there. Complete. At least I accomplished something today. And I got zebra ass back. Hi, buddy. It's okay, buddy. Zebra ass. Zebra. Sea brass. <laughs> That's awesome. What did Joe, what did Joe think? I wanna play with a shrinky dink. Okay, I don't want to go near it. Chill, dude. All up tight, dude. Bye. <laughs> See ya.
I don't feel like doing spatial bullshit right now. <laughs> I want to. I want to. I want to. Hit fly. You gotta stay focused playing this fucking game. Good. I'm fucking the best. I rock, I won't.
It is. I'm loving learning more stuff about the Divine Beasts and adding more lore to the whole game. Overall, I'm happy with this DLC. I think the only problem I have with it is I'm a selfish fuck and I want more and more and more. I want the sequel, not DLC. <laughs> But I'm very happy with my purchase of the of it to just be able to have an excuse to urge me to go back into playing this game again. Exactly, at least at worst case scenario, today I got the horse shit. <laughs> I got that horse shit, so I'm very happy. I would have had to get that horse shit eventually, so, I, so it's fun to have gotten it. couldn't hear my call. Isn't that the whole point of the thing I got? Oh, I have to actually equip one of my horses with the thing. I get it. I get it, Lotus. Cool. I will probably still be playing Norba when you get back, but I may take maybe ending pretty soon for dinner and shit. Possibly back around 10 tonight for a little bit. Or maybe playing something else. Get it. One more.
I won't. Oh, I moved. Mm. Mm. So I think this is a good spot to save here. Thank you everyone for joining me today for this live stream. I will very possibly be back later tonight to do some more Zelda, but if not, I'll talk to you guys very soon.